We're going to start with a simple efficiency problem. I've got a roller coaster here. It's 40 meters up at the top of the hill, and it's going to come down the hill and end up going 22 meters per second when it gets to the bottom. So the roller coaster has gravitational energy, but since it's not moving at the start, then its kinetic energy at that point is zero. So I can figure out how much energy the roller coaster has here. Uh, that energy is converted all into kinetic energy, but some of it is lost. So the question is how efficiently does it work? So uh, I'm going to figure out the gravitational energy at the top. AG is MGH. And I notice right away that I don't have the mass of the roller coaster. But frequently in these kind of problems, we don't have the mass. Don't let that throw you off. All you've got to do is keep M as an unknown, and it'll cancel out at some point usually. So the gravitational energy at the top is MGH, which is M times 9.8 times 40 meters. So I end up with 392 times the mass. So I put the mass in round brackets just so I don't confuse myself and think it might, I might mean meters. The energy is not quite in joules, it's 392 times the mass. Now I've got to figure out the kinetic energy that that turned into. It's one half mv squared, which is one half, 22, sorry, one half m times 22 squared, because I don't have the mass. So that ends up being 242 times the mass. So the roller coaster started with just gravitational energy. It had 392 times the mass in energy. The roller coaster ended up going down a hill, and it ended up at a speed that gave it a kinetic energy, because it has no gravitational energy, a kinetic energy of 242 times the mass. So you can see I've lost some energy. And the efficiency is a comparison of how much you got out to how much you, you put in. So this is the energy we put in, because that's the energy we started with. So this is in. This is what we get out. So to work out the efficiency, the formula we have is that the efficiency is the energy out divided by the energy we put in times 100%. So I plug that in, the efficiency is energy out, 392m, sorry I did that wrong, oops, the energy I put out is 242m, the energy in was 392m, so the mass cancels out, it doesn't matter what the mass is for the roller coaster, times 100 percent, the efficiency is 61.7 percent.